If you're one of the many people that have researched skin treatments, you've inevitably come across lasers. Now, there are a lot of different types of lasers out there, and some lasers are designed specifically for things like hair removal, uh, and some lasers are good for a variety of different things. What I want to focus today on are skin resurfacing treatments, and these are lasers that target water because your skin is made up mostly of water, and there are two broad categories. There are ablative and non-ablative lasers. Now, non-ablative lasers will deliver energy in the form of heat, and it will either heat up the tissues to a certain degree and it'll stimulate collagen, or it will actually cook the tissues and cause your skin or the outer layers of your skin to start peeling. Ablative lasers, on the other hand, will deliver energy in a precise way that create microscopic holes in your skin. What this does is it stimulates your body to start healing and in that process it will stimulate collagen and it will improve the overall texture and, and the quality of your skin. Now traditionally ablative and non-ablative lasers have come with a good amount of downtime, usually about a week or so, uh, and with fairly aggressive treatments uh, with ablative lasers, traditionally you were looking at about one to two weeks of deep redness and peeling followed by a couple of months worth of uh, like a pink hue on your skin. Now this was tolerable for very few people because let's be honest, none of us can be hiding for weeks to months out of our regular lives. Now if you turn down the energy uh, to the point where your recovery time is maybe a couple of days, you really weren't seeing results. Now the two uh, methods of ablative lasers uh, that are most popular are erbium YAG and CO2 lasers. Uh, and not a whole lot has changed um, for a long, long time in either of those two. Now what has changed in the CO2 world is the invention of something called the cool peel. Now the cool peel is offered by a specific laser um, called the Tetra CO2 laser by a company called DECA. And it is a fractional truly ablative treatment with very minimal downtime and I'm talking one or two days and if your schedule can allow it we can dial the energy up and give you a better result with a little bit more downtime but what's really big in this is that uh, what you get for the downtime that you have that you need uh, is a lot better than what used to be available historically with other lasers. Now when I say truly ablative, um, the reason I say that is because um, some lasers claim to be ablative. Uh, just because it's a CO2 laser doesn't mean it actually can be fully ablative. Uh, and I did this because I, I did some testing myself and I came to a realization that not all CO2 lasers are, are created equal. Now with the cool peel, it is less energy delivered a little bit more precisely. Uh, the downtime is a lot less than a traditional full field uh, ablation treatment. And you're really looking at one or two days of redness followed by maybe a week of a little bit of rough texture. But at that point, you're, uh, you look completely normal. And the results are a little bit less drastic than one really powerful aggressive treatment. So what I often recommend is a series of treatments. Oftentimes it's going to be three treatments um, to get you where you want to be. Now the other real big benefit of this treatment is it hurts a lot less and oftentimes uh, you don't need anything. Um, if you prefer, uh, if my patients prefer, I do offer topical numbing cream uh, which makes it just a little bit easier. Um, but it really doesn't hurt a lot and it, it's quite tolerable without any kind of anesthesia. That is a stark difference to traditional aggressive laser treatments where oftentimes you needed either sedation, IV sedation, or a complete general anesthetic. Now a lot of you are probably wondering, okay great, we have a, tr a skin treatment that uh, comes with a lot less downtime and it's great, but what does it do exactly? So Lasers treat almost everything. Uh, they will serve to improve the, the texture of your skin, the overall quality of your skin. If you have sunspots or pigment issues, it's going to even that out. 
Um, and in many cases, depending on the settings and um, the type of skin quality you have, um, it can certainly tighten skin too. And it's great around the eyelids, upper and lowers. Um, and it's also great around the lower face and the neck as well. So that's about it. The thing that I'm really excited about when it comes to laser technology is uh, the reduction in downtime. This really makes it available to just about everybody and you don't have to take a week off of work. Uh, you can take, you know, do it on a Friday and be right back to work on Monday. Um, some patients that I've done have had less than a day of downtime or, or redness and they could have gone to work the next day if they wanted to. So it's really important to come up with a treatment plan that's specific for you um, based on what your goals are as well as your schedule because we can dial it and customize it uh, to each individual patient and it's important to have that discussion. Okay, well thank you for watching. See you next time.